Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 5 of Kenobi. I'm really, really excited. I have been enjoying every single episode so far and I it's, it just keeps getting better. So let's get into this episode and see what we have in store. Oh, there you are. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. Master. Maybe I should. <gasps> I was not ready! Are you? No! Then let's begin. <gasps> this is so beautiful! My lord. Ah! Hello, Queen. Oh, oh shit! Holy shit, she got Grand Inquisitor roll? Fuck yeah! Set the course, Captain. We leave for Jabim at once. Fuck yeah, let's fucking go! We got her. Hell yeah! Ned! How do you know? Well, you see. Nice goal is to defend life, not take it. God, it's so good to see the robes again. Mercy doesn't defeat the enemy, Master. Which is why you're good to lose. Okay, that's a really nice shot, but holy fuck. If we try and fight them, we will not survive. The fact that Vader doesn't know that his literal daughter is on this planet. Long enough to get you all out. Oh, it makes me so happy to see purge troopers again. Damn. Oh! Come on, Imperial March. Come on. I mean, it's got some hints off it in there, but my god, she looks so good walking through all that. Let's go, Grand Inquisitor! Let's start. I'm going to need a ladder. Uh. Got plenty of time right now, Princess. I trust her. Get her the ladder. He knows she's smart. Get her a ladder. It doesn't matter where I am. She was there. Uh. Can kill you. Oh! <laughs> okay, no, that's an angle we haven't seen. Oh, oh, Anakin. <laughs> so she wants to get Grand Inquisitor so she can take out Vader. <gasps> you are hunting him. Oh. Let me help you. Why would I ever trust you? Because we want to. I am telling you now. If anything happens to Ned, I quit life. I'm done. Nothing matters anymore. Let's fucking go, Ned. Ned. Something. It keeps focusing on Ned. Stop it! Kenobi just force push all of them. Just whoa! Big whoosh! Holy fuck! Ned's getting the job done. Oh no! Not Tala! Stop it! Is Ned gonna protect her? No! <laughs> Why am I this side over a droid? Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy fuck. Tala, Jesus Christ.
Jesus! Admit you are beaten. What is it? What's wrong? You're gonna die soon. He's not gonna die. Bring him to me. I'll bring him to you. Yeah, Reva's gonna die this season. <laughs> there are families back there. It's over. Your need for victory, Anakin, it blinds you. God is so good. Disappointed there's no Imperial in March, but I'll take it. Where is he? Move, move, let's go. Come on, we need to get to the transport. Oh shit. Oh god, no. Oh, 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 it's a thing of beauty. Oh my god. Fuck. Holy shit. You know what? Nice bit. Fair. God, he looks so good. Oh, the way they smile at each other! I'm gonna cry! <laughs> Again. Oh. Oh, God, no. Reva. Bro. It was wise to use you against me. Mine's is just dodging weaving. Holy shit. Dude, he doesn't give a fuck. Oh. Holy shit. Oh god, he looks so good with those. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck, this is incredible. I'm about to lose her, aren't I? She's about to be gone. Vader with two lightsabers is the coolest fucking thing. Like, you thought he could be scary? Oh! He's about to- he's gonna dooku. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! I feel so bad for her. No! Hello, third sister. Revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? In the gutter where you belong. Oh, harsh words. I mean, I don't blame him, but like, still. Goodbye. I mean, she, she's not dead yet, right? People have survived worse. Well, shit. Now is she gonna... ...try and help Kenobi? Or is she gonna try and get back on Vader's... Well, shit, there's no way she's gonna get back on Vader's good side. But, like... I wonder what her plan is gonna be then, now that she knows about Tatooine and Owen and the boy. Little baby, look! Oh, what a way to end the episode. Why do we only have one episode left after this? I'm so upset. Holy shit. What a fucking episode. That was insanity. Literal insanity. I think that's my favorite episode so far. That was absolutely fucking insane. Um, I... Oh my god. Vader is so fucking scary. And I love him. I love it so much. He's like... Oh my god, he just keeps getting even more intimidating every time we see him. Like, we know he's scary. We've seen him in multiple forms of media, in multiple, like, time eras. He is a scary motherfucker. I think the most scared I've been of him was probably in Fallen Order. Um, 
But this just takes him to a whole new fucking level. It's insane. Like, when he grabbed that fucking ship... Oh my god, I just got flashbacks to uh, the Force Unleashed. But, oh my god, the way he just fucking dragged that shit down and ripped it apart. And you're gonna hear, like, him, like... Like, the, the like, moans, like, the angry moans of him. Like, oh my god. Oh, so fucking cool. And honestly, so I... I was really happy originally that, like, you know... Reva, you know, got the Inquisitor badge and all this kind of stuff. It... Now that I think back to it, I'm like, well, obviously that wasn't going to be a real thing. Like, there's no way he's just going to give her the Grand Inquisitor badge. Like, he... Like, the previous episode, he was literally holding her in the air in a force choke. Like, he obviously knew. Um... And honestly, it hurts to see her story. Like, it, like it does with most, most people. Like, she was a youngling. She was, like looking up like the parallels of her like as she was a youngling looking up at anakin like storming through and i gotta say that was fucking beautiful seeing that from that angle was beautiful but seeing her like watching anakin coming in and like you know slicing and dicing everyone and then when vader comes up to her she's seeing the exact same thing that was beautiful scary but beautiful um and i do feel sorry for her but now i, I feel like she is <sighs> I don't know what her plans at this point are. Is she gonna go, like... She's she's obviously gonna go to Tatooine. I think she's gonna try and find out who this child is. Um, She's gonna find out who Owen is, find out who the child is. She's either gonna try and maybe help Obi-Wan, which I kind of doubt. Um, or she's gonna try and kill Luke if she finds out that that's, uh, like, Anakin's child. Or someone that Obi Wan's trying to protect, and maybe she'll try and kill him as revenge. I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work. So I feel like it's gonna be Obi vs. Reva. Um, I don't know how she survived or why Vader let her survive. Maybe he just thought that she was just gonna bleed out and just, you know, I, I don't know. I don't really know what his thoughts were. Um, but this kind of gives me hope. This is, like, really, like, far-fetched hope. But, like, if he's, like, killing his Inquisitors and he just, like, stabs them once and then they fall to the ground, Reva survived. So Trilla? Did Trilla survive? Is Trilla, like, off gallivanting somewhere across the world? Are we ever gonna see Trilla again? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's possible we never saw a dead body. We never saw a funeral. We never saw anything like that. Nothing. There was no proof that she was dead, so Reva's alive, maybe Trilla's alive. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, you, you get my point. Um, Ned, I'm angry. I'm so fucking angry. Like, he is the most wholesome fucking boy that you've ever seen in your life. Like, the way he, like, knelt over Tala and protected her and, like, just shut down... It fucking broke me. I used so that's that's probably the thing that I cried at the most this episode. I just have like this a weird emotional attachment to droids, and they they I, I don't know what it is. I just they just comfort me a lot. And seeing Ned go through, oh god, I fucking it kept focusing the camera on him. I knew it was gonna happen, and now I'm so upset. I'll never see Ned again. <sighs> but. Tala, absolutely wonderful character. Absolutely fucking loved her. She was just, she was just great. Um, sad to see her go, but, you know, she sacrificed herself. She did a very good thing. Um, and her, like I said, her character was just wonderful. And so, in such a short space of time, her character development was incredible. Um, oh, God, I'm so emotional right now. Like, this is such a good episode. The flashbacks, the fucking flashbacks to, to Anakin and Obi-Wan. I was not expecting that to be, like, the first thing that the episode opens with. Um, oh, my God. That was absolutely beautiful. Seeing Hayden as Anakin again just fills a gap in my heart that I didn't realize I had. We saw him as Anakin for, like, two whole fucking movies. Um, and I... It just, it just felt like this just filled that little gap that was missing. And, oh, my God... <sighs> well, I I am like still in shock over this episode. I'm gonna need to rewatch this like five times. Also, I've just been on like uh Twitter and Instagram and stuff just to kind of see what's going on. And I didn't realize that um a really one of the one of like the greatest Star Wars content creators, a friend of mine, Rex and Around, 
is in this episode. He's like one of the background characters, and I think that's so cool. If anyone deserves it, it's him. So, Michael, you'll probably never see this, but I fucking, I'm so proud of you. This is awesome. Um, go, go follow Rex and around on all social media because his content is just the best, and he's such a lovely, lovely human. Um, but it's so cool to see someone that you like that you know you know from the community, like the content creator community. Is just in Star Wars now. Like, that's so fucking cool. Like, he's canon. Like, that's so fucking awesome. Star Wars, if you ever want, um, if you ever, if you ever need, like, a, like, you know, a love interest for Dr. Afra or, like, you know, a night sister, I'm down. Please. If you just want me to be, like, a background night sister, that's all I ask. That is literally just in the background, just walking as a night sister. If you ever do any night sister content, I beg, please. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and drop a like so that I know that you're enjoying my content. Um, I'm very upset that next week is the last episode. Uh, I don't know how to how to go on without. This is the same as what happened with like Mando and Boba Fett. Is <laughs> I don't know what to do with my life when it's over. I'm just kind of like every Wednesday, I'm like, what the fuck do I do with my life? Um, I don't know what the next thing we're getting is after this. I'll find out uh, at some point. But, um, yeah, one more week of this and then we got to wait for more. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I will see you guys next week for the finale. <laughs> May the force be with you.